Hunter x Hunter has so many different Nen abilities. Everyone has their own unique Nen ability, and one of the coolest of these is Kropika's. There's an interesting story behind his ability, and overall, it's just really, really cool. There's a lot of lore put into this ability, so what I want to do in this video is explain Kropika's abilities. When coming out with the Nen ability and finding out that he's a conjurer, Kropika knew that he wanted to conjure Unbreakable Chain to chain down the Phantom Troop. He has conjured multiple unique chain abilities with varying uses and assigns them to each individual finger. He leaves his chains exposed to confuse his enemies with being a manipulator. Although all of these abilities are technically a conjuration type, some of them are also from a different Nen category. Kropika has set many limitations and restrictions on his abilities to increase the amount of power put into each ability. Before getting into each individual chain, we first have to discuss Emperor Time. Emperor Time is vital to the usability of each ability, and without it, makes the function of each ability unusable. Through Emperor Time, Kropika, who's a conjurer, will turn into a specialist once he activates his Scarlet Eyes. Once the ability is activated, even Nen categories that Kropika has trouble with as a conjurer, like Emission, will be put to 100% power. So even if a category is usually only 40% for Kropika, he will be able to use it at 100% accuracy and force. The Holy Chain is Kropika's thumb ability, and it's an enhancement type. It's shaped like a cross, and it can be used to heal wounds. Enhancement Nen can be used to enhance a person's healing ability and speed up the process. It can completely heal serious injuries in a matter of seconds. Since it's an enhancement type ability, it requires the use of Emperor Time, and Kropika being a conjurer only allows him to use Enhancement Nen at 60% efficiency. The Dowsing Chain is Kropika's Ring Finger ability and it is a conjuration type ability. The end of it is shaped like a ball and it has multiple uses. Kropika can use the cha this chain to find the whereabouts of a person. It can also be used as a lie detector. He must be in front of the target in order to use it and if they're lying, the chain will move back and forth. But if he's in Emperor time, he can also use it on video recordings. Chain Jail is Kropika's middle finger ability, and it's a conjuration type. It is shaped like a hook, and it's Kropika's version of an unbreakable chain. Once wrapped around it, the target, it forces them into Zetsu and prevents them from using their Nen, so only physical strength can break through. But it also seems that it requires plenty of strength to break through, since Yuvugin, the physically strongest Phantom Troop member, was unable to break through. Kropika was able to achieve this power through the use of vows and limitations. The restriction Kropika put on this chain was that he can only use it on troop members. Kropika put a judgment chain on his heart, so if he breaks this rule, he will die. Because of how strict this limitation is, he can use this ability to its fullest potential if against a member of the spider. Another thing to take into consideration, although it's from a non-canon movie, is from Hunter x Hunter Phantom Rogue movie, where Kropika was able to use this ability on a former troop member, Omokage, and he was able to use it since he, was, he could still consider him a part of the spider.
The judgment chain is Kropika's pinky ability, and it is an emission and manipulation type. It is shaped like a blade, and will pierce through the target's body and will be wrapped around their heart. Kropika will put two limitations on the target, and, if their, and their heart will be crushed if they fail to meet these limitations. The one condition that Kropika must meet to be able to use this ability is that he must be an Emperor Time. The only way to seemingly remove this chain is from a person is through the use of Nan Exorcism, which is a risk in itself. Before I start, I want to preference by saying that what all I'm about to say is from the newest manga chapter of Hunter x Hunter, chapter 361, and has not been seen in the anime as of now. So this may be considered a spoiler to some of you. So you have been warned. Originally, when Kropika was first developing his Nen, his teacher told him to leave an ability open, in fear that he would fight alone and not have allies. He told them to develop it once he was in an actual fight, and if he felt he was missing something. So that's what this ability is. The ability that filled the void that Kropika felt when he was fighting, that gives him a chance to be able to fight alone. So, the Steel Chain is Kropika's Index Finger ability, and is a Conjuration type. The end of this chain is shaped like a syringe and is used to pierce through a target and absorb their Nen. If enough Nen is drained, then it will leave them in a state of Zetsu. From this absorbed Nen, Kropika can use the target's Nen ability, but for only one use. In order to use it, he must know everything about the ability first. To compensate for this, Kropika has created another ability for this, which requires the use of Emperor Time. With this, he conjures a dolphin-like creature, which is foreshadowed on the cover of volume 33 of the manga, that tells him everything that he needs to know about the Nen ability. With this, he can use the ability. Once he has used the ability, the Nen will go back to its host. But if he hasn't used it yet, the Nen will stay within the chain, and Kropika must stay in the state of Emperor time, although he's able to put the dolphin on standby. So, that pretty much covers it for Kropika's abilities. There's a lot to talk about with all the variables with for the chains, but definitely some interesting stuff here. Kropika's ability is probably one of the coolest in the series and one of my personal favorites. There's a lot of interesting lore and story put into each chain. So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked it, and subscribe for more content like this. So, until we meet again, I'll see you guys next time.